Oh, well, hello there, Scott County. I hope you all have been good this year, reading lots of good books from the Scott County Public Library. Now, since Santa can't be with you in Sadieville at the Polar Express this year, I want still to leave you with the first gift of Christmas, a silver bell from my sleigh. Now, also, you can pick your bell up in a commemorative ticket for the Polar Express right here at the Scott County Library at the curbside, and you can also go to Sadieville City Hall. Now, we're wishing you a very happy and healthy Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and a very happy Kwanzaa to all. Now, from Santa and Mrs. Claus and the elves and from the reindeer, we hope you all have a very joyous winter break this year with your family and a healthy and prosperous new 2021. Now, while we're here with you today, we would like to read you a story. This story is The Spirit of Christmas, and we're reading it for permission from the publisher, Farrell and Friends, and it has an imprint of Macmillan Publishers, and the author of this is Nancy Tillman. Now, as we begin the story, my elf is going to help me turn the pages. I had just nodded off. It was a quarter past four when the spirit of Christmas stepped in through the door. With a great show of sparkles, he decked all my halls in tinsel and twinkles and bright shiny balls. I was really quite fond of the trimmings he'd brought, but there just, just was something missing this Christmas, I thought. Bells, he said. Jingle bells. Bells right away. Bells on a one-horse galloping sleigh. How about toy soldier band dressed in matching red sashes? Or candy cane tongues and marshmallow stashes? Everyone caroling songs of goodwill. So merry that even the trees can't be still. I shook my head. You are really so kind. But it's just not exactly what I had in mind. He spoke to me then in a whisper of wings. There are gentle things that the season brings. Snow that lies silent, as quiet as a mouse. And roads that all lead to your grandmother's house. Music, we're told. And of course, Santa Claus. I'm just getting to him. I lifted my chin and started up at the ceiling. I still wasn't getting that warm Christmas feeling. That's when the spirit of Christmas smiled. Remember, this all began with a child. Because it took nothing but love to begin it, it's not really Christmas if love isn't in it. Your tree may be large as a room will allow with a big yellow star on the uppermost bough. But of one thing I'm certain, I'm sure of one thing, it is love that makes the angels sing. And that's when I got it. That's when I knew the thing that was missing from Christmas was you. And so then, my darlings, wherever you roam, may you always be safe. May you always come home. For as long as the world still spins and still hums, wherever you are, and no matter what comes, 
the best part of Christmas will be you beneath my Christmas tree. That's the reading. If you get a chance, when the library opens again, you come and you borrow the book, The Spirit of Christmas. So a good reminder for you is that there will be a bell for you waiting at the library and in Sadieville City Hall. Come by and visit with us. It's a pleasure to be with you, my friends. You have a very Merry Christmas, and you wish your family the best. <laughs>